Hey guys, what's up? It's Fern. Thank you so much for joining me for another Planty video. Today, we are going to be shifting gears a little bit and talking about my cactus and succulent collection. I feel like I have not uh, given the spotlight to any of my cactus or succulent type plants in quite some time. And I think a large part of that is just that it's winter. Um, I give these guys a lot more attention in the summer. That's kind of their time to shine. Um, that's when they will be growing and bloom and doing all sorts of fun things so uh, yeah but I have had a few comments recently of people asking for me to show them more and to do an updated collection so that's what we are going to be doing now I did used to have a lot more different varieties of cactus and succulents but of course I had to downsize when I moved so the ones that I'm left with are ones that I really love and I'm really excited about so I can't wait to share them with you I will also try to mention uh, the type of light that they get and how often I water them because I know that that is a frequently asked question especially in the winter time all right without further ado let's just hop into the first ones and those are going to be ones that live on my windowsills there's honestly only a few um, i do have south facing windows but where i live the sun is very scarce so um, it's like quite dark and gloomy on most days so they're not getting a lot of light um, most of them are dormant have not seen growth for months now okay so the first one is my variegated opuntia I love this guy so much um, I love just like this like I love just the look of opuntia in general but um, when you add the variegation I just think it's so pretty especially with that like minty green and the darker green and then we have some like yellowy type of variegation up here he's just so pretty and honestly such an easygoing cactus i ordered this from crystal star nursery getting close to a year and a half now and um this so i've had him for like one full growing season like spring and summer and this pad the very top pad is all new growth that i have grown in my care which is very cool it's so fun to see that new growth come in um i'm very excited for this summer um i feel like i'm gonna say that a lot in this video but i'm just i can't wait um for the coming months to see how much all of these plants grow and to see if any of them bloom that would be so cool but yeah can't wait to watch this grow um it's just in a little terracotta pot as you can see and i am currently watering this one probably once every two months during the winter time you can kind of feel like the pads will get soft this is actually probably due for a watering like this pad feels quite squishy to me so that tells me that he's thirsty Okay, next guy that lives in my windowsill. Um, this is one of my favorites. I should actually move this to under my grow light to see if I can get some growth um, during the winter. But this is my variegated bear paw. This is a succulent. And if you are no stranger to my channel, then you would know that this is one of my favorite plants of all time. Um, not even just the variegated one, but just bear paw succulents in general. I think that they're so freaking cute. I love fuzzy plants. Um, so this is right up my alley. One of the really cool things about these, well, most of them, I've heard some people say that theirs doesn't, but they smell like honey, which just blows my mind because it's a bear, it's a bear paw plant. Like that's what it's called. It looks like little paws and it smells like honey. Like, I don't understand how that is a thing, but it's just very cool. Another cool little reason that I love this plant. I did have a fully green one, uh, which was actually getting quite large, and I did part with it when I moved, which I kind of regret. I do miss that plant, but I decided to keep the variegated one just because they're a little harder to find, um, and this is actually found for me by a friend. So I took this one with me. It's not in great shape because it did pretty much burn to a crisp during one of our heat waves, um, so it had a lot of damage on leaves. It dropped a lot of its leaves and it hasn't really done much since then. I see that I'm finally getting some new growth actually. If you look at the top there, there's little tiny paws coming in. So that'll be the first growth that I have seen since um, like July or whenever we had those big heat waves. I don't water this very often during the winter either. Um, they're very easy to tell though. You can just give their paws a squeeze and if they're like soft um, and have a lot of give to them, then it's probably thirsty. So I just go by that and I probably water it, I'm gonna say once every four to five weeks. I do have a whole video about these and about their care if you are interested. So I'll link that in the description box. Okay, next, another one that lives in my windowsill. Now we are getting into the territory where maybe some of you guys can help me out because I have been struggling with this plant. This is my Euphorbia White Ghost. Incredible plant, um, one of my favorites. I love seeing different photos of these. Um, this is on my wish list for quite some time and I finally got this one last summer. 
It unfortunately has not really done anything for me except brown its arms. Like, yeah, that is what is happening on multiple of its arms. I feel like it was only on like one or two at first and now it's just happening on a lot of them. I did try to cut that one off. Um, yeah, the top isn't as bad. Like, there's not really damage, maybe a little bit, but it's really not bad. Um, I have no idea why that is happening on this plant. Like, what is the cause? I don't know. Euphorbia people, help me out because I really wanna see this plant thrive and do well. Like I said, it hasn't grown for me yet, but I haven't had it for like a full year yet. So I'm not really worried about that. I just don't want him to be browning and that to be like spreading and him to be losing more arms. It's not squishy. It's like hard as a rock still. Um, I just, yeah, it's so bizarre. I don't know why that is happening. So if you know, let me know. Um, I love him regardless of that. And I just really hope that once we start getting into spring and summer, he'll start doing better. I don't know. Or maybe someone will be able to help me. Let me know. I, I water him probably the same as the others, like about every four to six weeks right now. Maybe more like six to eight weeks for him, actually. I really don't water him often. I kind of give him, give the base of him a squeeze, and if it has any give, then I know that he's thirsty, but most of the time it doesn't during the winter, so. <clears throat> All right, and then I think we're on to my last one that lives in the windowsill getting natural light, and that is my, there's much debate. Every time I feel like I've figured out the name of this, somebody comments and says that it's something else, but this is some type of spiky aloe or um, or prickly aloe or mountain aloe. So as you can see, it is just some type of aloe with these really prominent spikes. They have like red tips on them. And the color of this is actually really pretty. It's like that muted greeny blue that I really love. And this is the easiest, one of the easiest plants that I have ever grown. I largely just forget about it and leave it alone and water it whenever I remember, probably once every couple of months and it's never complained. I did unfortunately drop it when I was filming one of my plant tours. So that's what the damage on the back is about. But yeah, this plant just hangs out. It's super easy, love it. Love the way it looks in this little snake pot. And yeah, I don't usually put this one outside, but I'll probably put it outside this summer um, and see, see how it does out there. I'm sure it'll love it. Okay, so now I am going to be moving into my guys that live under my Plant Spectrum 32 grow light that's on top of my Millsbow wide cabinet, if you're familiar with my setup. Um, so these are getting quite bright light consistently every day. Um, and a lot of them are growing. So I'll start with a few of my succulents. Um, okay, so this guy here, this is one of my favorites. This is, uh, I believe, Sepelia grandiflora. Um, and I'm talking about this tall one here. There's a couple different plants in this pot, but I'm talking about this, these three guys right here. This is actually um, the main plant, this, this tall one and this arm. And then I took a cutting. This arm used to be attached from him, but I was worried that he was going downhill and I wanted to um, make sure I would still have a piece of this plant. So I ended up taking this cutting, rooting it, and they all survived. So now I have the main one and then this little baby guy over here. Oh my goodness, it looks like he's gonna start putting out a new branch. I don't know if you'll be able to see. Uh, oh no, you're not gonna be able to see. Shoot, at the base of him, it looks like there's like gonna be new growth coming. That's so cute. Okay, anyways, I received this plant as a cutting, just one, this main stem. I received it as a cutting from my friend in like spring, summer-ish of last year and I rooted it and it rooted really well, super easily and it's just been taken off since then. Um, I was not expecting to be so invested in this plant and to love it so much. I was really surprised. But the first thing I noticed when I got it was that it's soft, you guys. It has a fuzz on it. It's so soft and I just love, I love that characteristic on plants so I was immediately like drawn to it I was like oh no way like this is so cool I didn't know that um apparently they get um they get really cool blooms as well I feel like they're stinky blooms um I feel like this guy is a stinky bloomer it has not bloomed for me yet that'll be so cool when it blooms I just I love when my plants bloom so yeah if any of these bloom you guys will definitely be hearing about it and seeing it um but yeah that is uh yeah that's how that guy is doing I water this probably once every 10 days um, like I said, these ones live under the grow light and it's it's been super easy for me to grow. Um, definitely one of my favorite succulents in my collection. And then he does have a little friend in the pot here. I am not positive what this is. I feel like it might be a dragon fruit. 
plant? I'm not really sure, but that one has grown as well. It's put off little offshoots and yeah, I just think that they're cute, like hanging out in there together. So I just leave them all in there. Okay, next we have my Huernia Zebrina, which is this spiky little dude here. Maybe I'll show these both together actually, because I have a variegated version. So that is what they both look like. Now these are definitely stinky bloomers, I know that. Um, I'll put photos of the blooms that we're talking about, but these are the ones that look like lifesavers. So I am highly anticipating um, both of these or either of these to bloom one day. This variegated one has definitely been more finicky for me. I know it didn't root for the longest time, but I know now it has like little tiny roots. So I've just been kind of babying it. Um, isn't this just like the cutest little terracotta pot you've ever seen in your life? I love it so much. It's just so stinking cute. But yeah, love these. Um, this one, this green one has been doing really well. Uh, these two, um, these two at the front here are new growth from the two main ones. So that was very exciting to see. These have been very easy for me to grow. Um, I did lose one stem when I moved. I thought I was gonna lose the whole thing, but it bounced back and it started growing. So I was like, okay, let's do this. Um, but yeah, very happy living under my grow light, all of these. It's really nice to have that grow light set up there for these plants because I probably wouldn't be getting any growth at all um, during this season if I didn't have it. Oh, I do have one more small little succulent that kind of goes along with those guys. Um, this is a Euphorbia, actually. This is my Euphorbia Ricii or something like that. And it's kind of this like bumpy little dude. This is a variegated version, by the way, but it's like this bumpy little dude. Um, and then he sprouts out these leaves. He just looks like, he reminds me of a Pokemon or something. Um, he's so cute. These are kind of fuzzy too, these leaves. Like I can see little fuzzes on them. Yeah, as for like the base, like the bumpy part, I haven't really gotten any new growth, but um, yeah, he's been putting out these leaves. This leaf is actually, it's actually still growing in. I think this is brand new. He just put this one out from the smaller one um, within like the past couple of weeks. So that's really cool. This one is kind of on the same watering schedule as the others. I watered it, water it probably about every 10 days. Yeah, I can't wait to see it grow. These look a lot different when they're bigger too. It'd be really cool to watch. Okay, so I have a few more cactus to show you, kind of trailing cactus, if you will. Is that a category? I don't know. Um, and then I have a couple of jungle cactus. So I'm gonna start off with, this is probably my favorite. This is, I still cannot believe that I have this in my collection. My friend gave this to me, which was the nicest thing ever. Yeah, I'm still shook. Um, but this is my monkey tail cactus, you guys. This is just the coolest plant ever. I can't, I will never get over it. Look. Oh, how hairy like what this is so cool i'm obsessed with it yeah this is my monkey tail cactus i got this as this this like arm as a um as a cutting and i rooted it in this soil and it's obviously rooted because it's given me these two growth growth things growth arms these two little baby arms off of the end and they're just they keep growing you guys um like i said this is under the grow light so i am getting active growth on these plants right now which is really cool but yeah that has been growing a lot i did just water this yesterday so it's kind of heavy um i water this probably once every like three to four weeks i'm gonna say for this one I don't know if saying the watering is helpful to anybody, but I hope it is. Yes, so this was a wish list um, plant for me that I honestly didn't think I was going to be able to get my hands on for a very long time. And then one of my local plant friends, um, who's actually gifted me or traded me a lot, like almost all of these like smaller succulents and cactus, um, her collection is just amazing. But yeah, she gifted me some smaller ones. Maybe I'll just show them at the same time as me talking about this big one. So this is a baby. This is a baby monkey tail cactus. That's one right there. You can see it has new growth at the end there. And then there is this one. So I have these two babies and then I have this one larger one. And um, yeah, those are, I feel like I'm, I had, I had several more, but those ones didn't make it. These are the ones that um, rooted up and are doing well and growing. But yeah, long story short, couldn't believe I got this plant. Um, I'm just gonna keep growing all of these until I have a large plant one day. It's probably gonna take a long time. Um, I'm thinking I'll put this outside in the summertime 
if you guys have one let me know uh, the conditions that you give it any tips that you have because this is a plant that I'm just like very invested in keeping um, keeping in my collection for as long as possible and just growing it out to its fullest potential so yeah I keep these on like I keep them in groups of three on these little um, saucers as well which makes it really easy to like take them over to the sink to water and stuff also um, okay so the next one that I'm going to talk about is kind of similar also from the same person and this is my mouse tail cactus I did also have a rat tail cactus which unfortunately perished when I moved which I'm so upset about because I was just I was very excited about that rat tail cactus that's actually one that I would like to get my hands on and to add back into my collection um, it's very short-lived the time that I had it uh, I had rooted it and it was doing well and then yeah for some reason the move affected my cactus and succulents a lot so that one died but anyways we still have the mouse tail and this one is actually doing really well um, since I put it under the grow light the grow light is what saved the ones that lived I think to be honest with you um, but I have seen new growth like on the ends here which is so exciting I am really into any type of like long or trailing cactus or succulents i just think that that is such a cool vibe so i can't wait until this is like a larger basket as well yeah it's just doing amazing you can see new growth coming in on the tip of that one it's like a lighter green and he's like fuzzy and cute and yeah i'm a really really big fan okay i had to sit up on my knees for the last ones because that was very uncomfortable uh okay so the last ones are going to be my jungle cactus um or my ripsalis they're both ripsalis paradoxa actually this is the minor or apparently it has another name um i should write that down someone commented last time and i have heard that before um i started watching oh gosh what is it called epiphytic cactus i think that that's the name of the channel um but there's so much information on there like very in depth on each different species and like even general care and it's a really great resource if you are into any type of jungle cactus um like holiday cactus even or things like ripsalis um but anyways i digress this is my we'll just call it ripsalis paradox and minor for now from charmaine from unplant parenthood i recently repotted this in a video so you guys have probably seen it uh yeah doing really well so far haven't really i think i've only watered it once since i repotted it it has been like um it's been probably just over a week now and it's doing really well this lives um kind of under my plant spectrum grow light it's a little bit off to the side and for my ripsalis i do water them a little bit more than my other like traditional succulents um the care is kind of more similar to just a regular tropical so i probably water this um every seven to ten days um like i let it dry out between waterings but i don't let it get bone dry and these do become like a little more flimsy when they're thirsty as well this is my other ripsalis. This is the thicker, the thicker boy. Uh, recently, you guys have seen both of these recently in my repot. I added these, this is two separate plant, separate plants, and I added them together. Um, yeah, this is doing fine. This is also in front of a plant spectrum grow light, and it did. It was showing new growth a couple, a couple of or a few weeks ago, um, and then I accidentally broke it off the tip, so I threw it back in the pot. I don't know if anything is right right there i don't know if anything is going to happen with that if it's going to grow roots or anything i can report back but yeah i'm not super invested in that piece so i just kind of tossed it in there as a little fun experiment um yeah love ripsalis these ripsalis paradoxa definitely a favorite um especially when people have like large hanging baskets of these or like trailing baskets down a shelf or something i just love the look of this so much i love the chain link vibe um yeah these are just amazing i would love to add more epiphytic cactus into my collection all right, you guys, I think that that is going to be it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I really love doing these collection videos and it's also fun to kind of like compare or like see over time how my collection changes. So I will link my last cactus and succulent collection down below. Also, I did want to say I do have, it's kind of hard to draw the line of like, including different succulents because a lot of plants are like more succulent type plants like string of hearts and my trailing jade and whatnot. But I tried to stick to just like the traditional cactus and succulents i guess the next collection video i'm gonna do is probably gonna do my hoya one so stay tuned for that make sure you are subscribed if you have not yet thank you all so much for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below i can't wait to chat with you okay i'll see you guys in the next one bye